Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm on a little road trip today, going to look at a couple trailers, uh, looking for another reefer trailer, and I'm kind of striking out locally here, so I've had to drive quite a distance over here to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. If I strike out here, I'll be going down to uh, Sioux City, Iowa. Going to do a couple pre-purchase inspections, one on a 2015 utility. It's kind of looking for a Great Dane, but I'm coming up short on finding one. So I'm looking at a 2015 utility with a carrier 7300 unit on it. Then I'm going to look at a 2014 uh, utility with a carrier 2100A unit on it. So I thought I might bring you along for the ride and uh, kind of show you what I look for when I'm looking at a, a trailer to buy and uh, kind of walk through the uh, pre-purchase inspection with you. So it's cold out here today, but a little windy, so it's a little loud in the microphone. Sorry about that, but... I'm here at the dealership, so let's get out and take a look. All right, so this is our 2015. Uh, there's the Carrier 7300X4. First thing I want to do is just do a walk around. I haven't uh, even looked at this yet. I just got here, so let's do a walk around the front. I'm looking for damage, first of all. See if this trailer's been hit or had any major repairs done to it. On the outside, here we got a little little scuff that isn't bad you know you got to expect a little bit of normal wear and tear um, looking for structural stuff because uh, either that is uh, gonna rule it out or need to be repaired I'm guessing this was probably a fleet trailer this is a pretty straight side I'm not seeing anything other than cosmetic oh I see the I don't know if you can see that where there was a Hirschbach sticker on it. So this looks like it was an old Hirschbach trailer. It does have the uh, smart truck fins on it there. I like that. My other trailer has the actual tail on it. Let's look at the back end here. Yeah, that's a replacement bumper, but it passes for DOT. It's nice and straight. I guess I'd rather have that on there than a bumper that's all smashed in. The rear structure around the doors want to see that that's not all bent in it does look like at the top there the doors bow in just slightly but it does look like they seal so we're gonna to want to see how they open and close make sure they open and close and seal up tight but uh this isn't all bent around here indicating that somebody you know either got rear-ended or smashed into the dock or something so it's got a rear vent door this handle's a little bent here, but we'll come back to that. Let's just finish up on the outside here. Now, I can't, for the moment, get up on the roof, but I'm going to ask later if I can, uh, if they can pull it in and I can get a ladder and just go up and take a peek at the roof. This side's pretty, pretty doggone straight, too. Make sure the DOT tape is intact here. Here we got somebody must have... must have rubbed along something, but there's no... no, um cracks or breaks or anything then they buffed it out it must be to get rid of the scratches make it look good but we're definitely gonna check them cross members here here we got a little bit too a little wavy not bad that's acceptable obviously if price is right it's one of the problems I'm having is these things are like gold here lately they want a lot of money for reefer trailers and a little damage to the skin right there it's no big deal so overall I'd say the outside is in pretty acceptable condition so far now let's uh, just go take a look at the inside and take a look at the doors look at the door gaskets a little repair here but it seems to be okay we got to see how they seal up now this handle bent door gaskets much better on this side especially look at the corners corners are where you'll get the first you know of it coming loose or damaged and stuff so check the insides of them out this door actually looks really good this passenger side door over here it's really good at the bottom so it just looks like it had a little some repair right through here which is I mean, you got to expect a certain amount of that. Rear structure here is important. When I say structure, the frame around the door. 
This is where I prefer the Great Dane. In my opinion, much stronger, more solid rear structure, but we got some rivets missing here. This has been welded. I expect a certain amount of repairs. So let's get up in there. Now when I'm in here, them walls look really nice. I don't see much for repairs to the walls or damage. Nice tall 16 inch scuff rail. We like that. What I'm looking for inside here is damage and floor damage, spongy floor. So I'm walking through here, I'm gonna be bouncing and jumping up and down, trying to see if I can get a, any indication of a spongy floor. That ceiling is also in really nice condition. Very, very nice. I'd say for a 2015, these walls are quite nice. Here I'm bouncing, trying to feel for soft spots in the floor. You can also hear, you know, if you're gonna sag in a spot, a lot of times you can hear with this metal. It's feeling pretty good. Well, these walls are, ceiling are in great condition. Take a look at the bulkhead here. It's all intact and not busted up. Our chute. Well, I'm gonna look at the corners and see for any evidence of like water running in and stuff too. Now, this chute is pretty nice. I've never had a finger chute before. Only a chute down the middle. Now here, in the corner, it's been re-welded along that seam. But it looks like they did a pretty good job. That's a pretty stout repair. Right there. Yeah, it looks like they may have put a new scuff liner in there. I'm Before I go outside, let's look at these doors again. We want to make sure we don't see any daylight coming through these doors. They need to seal up nice and tight, which this one does, even in, especially in the corners. It's where you're going to see most of the problem if there is. And this actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to close that other door and It'd be nice if you have somebody with you, they could close you inside and you could look, but I'm all by myself here, so I just do one door at a time. And our kingpin and apron, we wanna make sure that they're good, no cracks, obvious damage. And then we wanna look at every single cross member underneath the trailer here. Make sure it's not bent, cracked, any kind of damage. We can only see so much of the floor, we'll take a look at that check for damage so I'm just gonna go through this whole trailer here and check all that out if I see any damage I'll bring the camera on it and then uh, while I'm under here too I'm gonna try out this landing gear make sure everything works okay fuel tank fuel tank mounts um, and then let's take a look we got something back here it's like we got this airfoil under here instead of side skirts I have never owned one with that before so it looks like we got combination aluminum and steel cross members. Um, I don't have a truck here, so we can't really check the slider, make sure that works, but uh, do the best we can. I forgot a couple things. I forgot a ladder and I forgot my temperature gun, but uh, we'll do with what we got here. So I'm gonna check the, out under this, underneath this trailer here. Underneath the cross members all look good. Let's look at the suspension now. This does have super singles on it. Michelin X line, X1 energy or something like that. Tire inflation system on them, so that's nice. They look like brand new caps here. So I'm not a huge fan of super singles, but some people like them. It's just a matter of preference. We got a Hendrickson suspension under here I like. The button does pull shit in and out. We don't have any pressure back here, so I can't. It did try to pull the pins, but it's just not uh, Nothing's aired up or anything back here, so let's uh, take a look and see what we got underneath here. So the cross members look good, even in the spot where that frame rail was a little wavy over there. So right away I see we got one, two new brake chambers. The other two are pretty rusty, but they must be good. The brakes are, you can see the brakes under there. No relatively new at least on the front axle this uh it's one of those hendrickson's with no shocks you got these chains here to keep the axle from overextending 
here's our box for our tire inflation system. Just looking overall for any damage or rust down here. You can see up in there where I got the flashlight, there's some air lines running through the frame. They gotta, they're rubbing a little bit. I'm gonna have to uh, fix that before uh, DOT finds that, definitely. Looking at the hanger here, looks good there. I'd probably want the new spring there. That spring is broken. But uh, yeah, don't look too bad under here. I think we got new S cams. I'm gonna go around the back so we can see the S cams. We might have all new S cams. Yeah, sure enough, there we go. We got uh, all four new S cams. So somebody did actually go through this trailer. It's kind of one of those things we're looking for to see if anybody actually looked at things or just, you know, threw them on the lot and uh, hope for the best, hope nobody looks. So if you look back there, see them broken pieces of plastic hanging down. There must used to have been one of those bumper trays under there, got busted off. I don't care. All right, time to check out this unit here. 